Well, there is definitely a different feel for the Panthers heading into Sunday's game against the Bengals. Last week, there was a hope with the change at quarterback, but now there's a sense of, dare I say, optimism after the Panthers proved that they could play complimentary football and come out with a win. Now, both the Panthers and the Bengals are coming into Sunday's game a little banged up. For the Panthers, they will be without wideout Adam Thielen for the first time this season. He is on the IR with a hamstring injury. And Deontay Johnson is still listed as questionable, as is Robert Hun. And with Damian Lewis officially ruled out for Sunday, Chandler Zavala and possibly Brady Christensen are really going to have to step up on that O-line. But Andy Dalton looked pretty good behind them last week against the Raiders, throwing for over 300 yards. And Dalton is poised to have a big game against his former team. But that Panthers room knows that despite the Bengals being winless this season, they are going to be hungry on Sunday, trying to avoid an 0-4 start. And the re real danger would be to overlook an offense that is led by Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Uh, I think their whole scheme, uh, kind of like the Raiders, they fly around, everyone plays as one, uh, real physical, do a lot of things that kind of mess with your eyes and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, great scheme and great players, so it's, it's a good challenge. Uh, just that we got a lot of grit and that when we play, uh, you know, th four quarter, three phase football, we can be successful. Um, I think last week was indicative of special teams, defense and offense, playing off each other and playing well. Um, so obviously that's what we want to do moving forward and just playing extremely hard, playing for each other. This is a great group that I really respect, you know, uh, Zach Taylor. I've always admired just the way that they play smart situational football and they're versatile in their attacks. They have different styles of runs. They have different styles of passes and they got a lot of talent on the offensive side. Defensively, they play hard and they have a great scheme. They have great disguises. They have great pressure packages in different situations. And so this is a real challenge um, for us to be able to gather the information we need to to try to evaluate how they're going to attack us, how they're going to try to disguise things that they do. So it could be a big first win of the season at home for the Carolina Panthers. I'm sure fans would be excited to see that. And we will have all of your Panthers coverage right here on Queen City News Fox Charlotte, beginning with BBKL at 10 a.m. and then Black and Blue post game live right after the game.